Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Premier Gal here, and I'm inside of Premiere Pro CC 2017. And right here in my timeline, I have this basketball player. And what I want to do is replace his head with my silly head here that I cropped in Photoshop. Now I'm going to be using Mocha Pro, which is a plugin for Adobe that will enable you to track and replace his head without using After Effects. So you can get 10% off of Mocha Pro with my promo code GAL10, or you can download the trial and follow along. Mocha Pro can be used for a variety of different effects as well, such as stabilization, object removal, or screen replacements. And I've actually done a tutorial on screen replacements with my iPhone 6, so you should check out that tutorial. All right, so to get started, you're gonna go to effects and search for Mocha Pro, drag and drop Mocha Pro on the clip. And next you're going to go to effects controls with the clip selected and double click on the Mocha icon. This will launch open the plugin interface. And from here, what we want to do is track his head. So you're gonna use the X spline tool to then draw basically a tracking area around his head. And so I'm just gonna click and it creates a new point until I get back to the beginning and close it off. Now that it's closed down at the bottom, you'll see under the track tab, you can select different motion options for tracking. Make sure that shear and perspective are turned off, only translation, scale, and rotation. If these are selected, you may get some undesirable results such as some distortion of your insert head after the tracking is complete. So from here, all we're going to do is hit this track forwards button and it will track the motion of his head frame by frame. All right, now that the tracking is done, you're gonna go over to the left here next to insert clip. And this is where we're going to select the drop down and import that silly head that I showed you just before. I'm gonna select the PNG file, hit open, and then hit import. Now you can see my insert is kind of distorted, so we need to change that. If you go down to the insert tab here, you'll notice that there is this outline here, this blue outline that you can adjust to make the insert bigger. So I'm gonna drag the corners here to make my insert bigger, like so, and you can reposition it until you think it has a good fit. You can also use controls down here under transform. So if you wanted to bring this head up, you could actually type it in, let's say 0.35, might be a little bit too much. Let's say 0.25. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna make my face a little bit longer here. And let's scale it up a bit just to make it more of that big head effect. Okay, that's a little bit too big. Let's make it like 0.2. That's better. And you can also change the rotation. Let's try minus three. All right, let's make the scale just a tad bit bigger and let's move it up just point one more. And I think that looks pretty good. So you can play around with these transform tools. You can also check the motion blur so that way it blends better with the original. And now all we have to do is hit file, save project, and then exit out and you'll see that the guy's head is there. Where is the head that we just composited? Well, you have to go under module renders under effects controls and select the box render. And now you'll see my head here and you wanna make sure that insert composite is selected. And now all we have to do is render. You can go up to sequence render effects in and out, or you can just hit the return or enter key on your keyboard. All right, now that it's done rendering, you can see the effect in action. It looks pretty funny, which is the desired effect, right? It's like that jib jab style, but it was super easy to do. It took what, like five minutes, not even. So let me play it back here. And if I turn off the effect, you can see what it looked like before and then after. Before and after. All right, so remember, if you guys want to get Mocha Pro to do some of these effects, you can get 10% off using my code GAL10. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Also, if you guys want more Mocha Pro tutorials, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. 
You guys can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get updates when I release new videos every week. I appreciate you guys watching and if you want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash premiergal and leave me a tip where you can get free editing templates that I create each month. Thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.